my 66th country I'm so happy to be here I've actually been wanting to come for quite a while and obviously the World Cup just completely fueled that and so I thought it's still winter here it's actually beautiful weather right now and um, it is getting towards the end of January and I am here alhamdulillah now I am just here for three days and I am just going to stay in the city of Doha I know there are other places that you can visit in the country but with three days I don't want to spread myself too thin and I do just kind of want to have a holiday and I want to shop which is my plan for my last day here so it is already around three o'clock um, I haven't done so much today but I feel like I'm just going to be on Arab golf time um, just because of the jet lag as well I'm probably going to stay up a little bit later instead I did start off my day by going to Bellagio Mall because I'm staying near there with a friend um, around the Aspire Park so I got a sim card from there I was very surprised to see that it basically looks like Venice and the, the more the more that you see in like in Macau and in Las Vegas which I have been to so that's pretty cool to tick like a third one off and then I just came down to Sukhwahif probably saying that wrong I'm not sure um, but it is super cool I've been wanting to come here for so long and it is just so beautiful and I went to the art center as well if you're coming here you're watching this video then make sure you go to the art center it is absolutely incredible with all of the Turkish like lanterns on the um, the roof and then just the art pieces are beautiful and it's free to get in I was just walking through the souk and I turned a corner and I saw my first view of the sky Skyline, which is actually just behind me over here as well. I'm just trying to sit in a bit of a quiet place right now. Um, so I'm now going to jump into a taxi. I've already used the metro here, which was really good. I'm just going to kind of go between taxi and metro. Um, but I'm going to jump in a taxi now because it's a bit quicker to go down to the National Museum, then go to the Islamic um, Museum, and then kind of head towards the water area and get more city skyline views. So let's go. Bismillah. So I did see a taxi rank early and I'm just trying to find it again. I'm having trouble finding it, but then I just turn a corner and see a load of camels. So that is fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's actually loads of them. There's some over here as well. <laughs> I've just come down to the Corniche and to see the view with all of the Dow boats as well here which is absolutely stunning and I've decided to come to the Islamic Art Museum first because I could just walk there and I'll hopefully go to the National Museum uh, maybe on Monday actually and yeah I'm excited to go to the museum but I literally just can't take, stop taking photos of the skyline it's so incredible. just in the Museum of Islamic Art now as with everything here the architecture is absolutely incredible and then look at this view as well from where the cafe is was really good it was quite expensive it was 99 real but that does give you access into five other museums here so I definitely need to get my money's worth otherwise it was like 22 pounds which is quite a lot I think um, but it was nice I thought it was gonna be more like art and it was more artifacts um, but still really nice and just yeah the architecture inside just incredible and the views outside incredible and then the Sun is setting now it's getting really nice and cool and I've just walked 10 minutes to where these flags are um, obviously still here from the World Cup I am wondering obviously with stuff like this like how long are things gonna stay up here for the World Cup but I have a feeling from all the signage that I've seen you know two months or one month later it's gonna stay here for a while obviously Qatar as they should be should be re really proud of hosting the World Cup so I think it's gonna stay around for a while 
can you spot your flag? The UK flag is right in the middle actually. Wow, and look at this sunset. Just in the park now next to the Museum of Islamic Art and it's really nice just seeing people just enjoying the evening and so I just got some karak and chapati and just gonna see watch the sun go down over this view. Good afternoon from my second day here in Doha. Today I have come up to, I guess what is kind of like the north side of the city. So I'm starting in Lusail and I'm gonna go down to Qatara and then I'm gonna end my day, inshallah, in the Pearl area. So I started at Vendome Mall this morning, which was incredibly impressive. Um, kind of reminded me of like Caesar's Palace in Vegas and then they have the dancing fountains. So that was really cool. Also a really nice mall in terms of shopping and things. I think it was much better than the Villaggio Mall that I went to yesterday so if you are here for shopping and watching this then you know so I just jumped on the tram for a few stops there's actually a really good tram system and metro system up this way of the city so I'm hoping not to kind of walk too much I walked a lot yesterday my feet hurt um, and also not to get too many taxis and just rely on getting the tram but I've got off at Lusail Yacht Club and I've got the marina behind me and some really nice buildings but yeah it is beautiful and it's such a nice day the Lusail Katara Hotel I believe um, it's just finished in 2020 and it is pretty impressive it just really very much stands out on this skyline here and then this is where the night market is as well the Lusail night market and then like I said down here you've got kind of like a wheel and stuff so a really nice place to bring children um, and I'm just gonna keep walking along here a little bit more and then jump on the tram again, I think, to Katara. I'm quite intrigued by this. It kind of looks like old traditional buildings, but obviously it isn't because it's definitely just uh, the outside area. Um, but I believe actually just looked on the map, it is the Lasail Arabian Nights. So I think they do like a bit of a performancey thing in here. I mean, you can't, you know, miss the location because it's right in front of this hotel. I'm now at Katara Cultural Village, which seems very contrasting um, because it is a cultural village, which I can kind of see behind me and I've just seen some photos online. But as you approach from the metro station, Katara metro station, it is an extremely fancy mall, like extremely fancy. Um, and then that's the way into the cultural village, <laughs> which just feels a little bit, it just seems like a little bit too much. Um, but this does look really nice. So let's go and have a little look around. Shaded parts are definitely really, really nice. So a nice place to come even if it is quite hot. I've just come down to the beach. I did hear there was a nice beach. This bit's a bit rocky, but there is quite a bit of sand over here. And then I guess you can hire these. There's also some kind of like open air areas here, um, which is probably really nice in the evening. Like they've got a little fire set up. And actually the beach over here looks quite nice. There seems to be places where you can hire a boat. Um, definitely a nice area for children and a kayak. Um, and then behind me is the pearl. So I'm gonna go over there next, inshallah. So this part feels a little bit more cultural village-esque. This is the mosque. And then there is Chapati and Karak over here, which I'm gonna go to, and then I'm gonna go and pray. Katara has grown on me a little bit. I went to the mosque, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's um, you can go in even if you're not Muslim, you just have to make sure that you cover your hair. It's just like, it's not a huge, huge mosque, but it's really beautiful outside and very nice inside as well. And they have a nice separate um, prayer, women's prayer area if you are Muslim. 
so I'm on the Pearl. I just came through like an apartment block kind of complex. Here I am, nice sunset. There's actually a lot of different kind of sections to this area. Um, and there isn't a Metro, but I did just get a bus from outside one of the Metro stations, which Google Maps told me to get, and it was totally um, fine and easy to follow. I think I've said before, really loving the Metro system here. It's also really, really cheap. I think it's like two real um, per journey. So it's really cool. It's really, really nice at sunset. I am meeting a friend later um, who I've been following for ages on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to seeing her and just gonna have a little walk around. Good morning, Spital Pear, and it is the morning today. So I have come back to the Pearl. It was a little bit far from where I was staying when I was here last night. I didn't plan to come back today, but I missed out on this place here last night. I just didn't have enough time, and then it got dark after I met my friend, um, and I just knew I could not come to Doha and not come here and it is absolutely incredible. I mean it is very Italy-esque, Venice-esque. Um, obviously they've got also the mall here with the kind of Venice theme. This is obviously a little bit more natural but I know a lot of people live around here I think especially um, a lot of expats from what I've seen and also seen online and things so I mean what a cool place to live hey and there are lots of restaurants around here i just got some brunch there's definitely something for kind of breakfast lunch and dinner around here you can also get a boat ride So I've just got to the National Museum of Qatar. I have still got my pass from the other day from when I went to the Islamic Museum. There is um, access to five museums, but I'm probably only gonna get to go to two, but at least it makes up for it. But this site is absolutely huge. Um, it looks huge from the outside, then you kind of just keep walking through into even more buildings. Oh, wow. Oh, I absolutely love this. It feels like you're just like in the desert, in the countryside, still in the middle of the city though. مشهورة بمناطق الغوص فيها فكان يعني في, في الشتاء مثل ما قلت لك يروحون من البر وفي وفي الصيف ينزلون على على الغوص يعني ينزلون الغوص. Well, the museum was really, really great. I mean, firstly, museums in this side, this part of the world are just on another level. They're just so perfect and just so clean and quiet. They're just such, like, give you such, like, a nice experience when you visit them. Um, but it was definitely nice to learn about the past, learn how people used to mainly be in the desert in the winter, looking after the animals and come to the um, coast in the summer. And obviously with the pearl diving and then the crash of the pearl diving. Um, and then, of course, the oil, but also looking at all the traditional clothing. It was really, really interesting interesting very interactive for kids as well like they had the whole animal section um, so really good and they've also got like quite a decent um, gift shop and actually you could spend ages there I really did rush it and I think I've been here about an hour and a half but you could spend like two three hours here to be honest so definitely give yourself time and yeah like I said the architecture outside is incredible so now I'm just gonna head to the souk So I just went inside the Islamic Cultural Center here in Doha. It is right opposite the souk and you kind of can't miss it because it is with the mosque with the kind of spiral. I'm gonna put the full name in here, it's quite a long name. 
Um, but I know that they definitely aim at kind of informing non-Muslims about Islam. I think it was quite popular here during the World Cup and I know that a few um, people who have lived here, expats that I know of, have done their shahadas here as well, which is really nice. So I think it's very um, approachable. So yeah, I would recommend giving it a visit, especially if you're kind of interested in Islam. They've got a lot of um, signs and everything. They've got a few free booklets and then you can also pray there and they've got a women's area upstairs and everyone was very, very friendly, which obviously you would hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really nice. And that was pretty much the end of my trip in Doha. After this, I did some shopping in the souk and then I went to the Mall of Qatar and did some more shopping. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that Doha is on your list to visit if it wasn't already. And if it was, then you get to go there soon. I've got some more blog posts linked below on my trip and also on my Instagram as well. Thanks for watching.